the president of the president of the district parliament and former land rot, County Commissioner Johann Kahl, the Lord Mayor of Bomberg, Herr Andreas Steike, former Burgermeister of Bomberg, Herr Herbert Lauer, Colonel Gary Rosenberg, Garrison Commander at Fort Drum and former USAG Bomberg Garrison Commander. Lieutenant Colonel Michelle Bienis, former USAG Bomber Garrison Commander. Also joining us today for this momentous occasion are the Garrison Commanders from Grafenbeer, Rhineland Faults, and the Benelux. We also have with us several mayors from the surrounding communities, representatives of the German government administration, representatives of the BEMA, representatives of the Bundeswehr, our friends from the German Polizei, representatives of the Stadt Bomberg, representatives of the local Bürgerverein, the Citizens Associations, representatives of several German-American clubs, representatives of the German and American media, and last but not least, the employees and families of the USAG Bomberg. Honored guest, on behalf of Kathleen Y. Marin, Installation Management Command, Europe Region Director, and Command Sergeant Major Romeo Montez III, Command Sergeant Major for Incom Europe, and on behalf of your host today, Colonel Christopher M. Benson, Commander, United States Army Garrison Ansbach, and Command Sergeant Major Mark A. Kiefer, Command Sergeant Major of USAG Ansbach, welcome to the final retreat ceremony for the United States Army Garrison Bomber. Today we lower the United States and Federal Republic of Germany standards for the very last time and into formal partnership that has endured for nearly 70 years. At this time, ladies and gentlemen, I ask you to please stand for the invocation given by Chaplain Major Promotable Kent Walker and remain standing for the playing of the national anthems of the Federal Republic of Germany and the United States of America. Would you pray with me? God, you are the great shepherd that watches over us, provides and protects us, and we give you thanks for your watch care. God, we ask that you would bless this uh, ceremony today as we've gathered here to take time and reflect on the history of Bamberg community in the U.S. Army. Today, as we lower the flag for the last time, we remember the great relationships that have been made here between the Bamberg community and the soldiers, families, and civilians that have passed through these gates over the many years. It is these stories that will make Bamberg a community that will live on as we tell our children about the great relationships that we've had here. And we pray you would bless us today. May we never forget those that are in harm's way today, our nations, men and women, that are there to protect our freedom. God, we pray you bless this ceremony. We ask these things in your holy name. Amen.
Please be seated. At this time, we'd like to invite all former garrison and installation commanders to accompany Colonel Benson and Command Sergeant Major Mark Kiefer as they symbolically case the colors of the garrison for the final time. This act will symbolize the end of the garrison's role in Bomberg. The former commanders are asked to join in this function as a symbolic gesture to recognize and illustrate that commanders are where the colors are. Ladies and gentlemen, it's my honor to introduce the Director for Installation Management, European Region, Ms. Kathleen Y. Marin. That was a very moving ceremony. Thank you. I really appreciate the former commanders from being here, Colonel Benson, Command Sergeant Major Keeper. That's a beautiful ceremony. This is a very bittersweet day, and perhaps the weather sort of reflects the general mood. Um, it's very, very special to have the members of Parliament here, the Lord Mayor, the County Commissioner, and thank you so much to the entire U.S. Army Europe Band for being here on this very special occasion. But at the end of the day, this is a family occasion, and these, this is the family of Bamberg. And if you could have it be represented by all of the people who lived and worked here, you almost couldn't have enough room within the gates uh, for them. So each one of you here, you symbolize probably 100 to 1,000 other people who wish they could be here, and I thank you very much for your presence. The inactivation of the U.S. Army Garrison Bamberg and the closure of Warner Barracks is an ending, but it is not the end. While we close this garrison today, the U.S. relationship with Bamberg does not end. It will carry on through the goodwill of the Americans who have chosen to settle down in Bamberg after their service with the Army ended. But more importantly, our relationship will continue through the thousands of local employees from the surrounding area who have worked at Bamberg. For the hundreds of thousands of American soldiers and their families who have lived here, it has been a home away from home. Just as John F. Kennedy famously declared that he was a Berliner, thousands of Americans can officially claim they are Bambergers as certified on their birth certificates. Many recall with fondness graduating from the high school here and other life memories that made Bamberg more than just a duty station. Soldiers and families who have served here in the past 70 years and who will continue, will continue the relationship as they share fond memories of their time in Bomberg. Soldiers like Lieutenant General Thomas B. Bostick, who served in Bamberg as a freshly minted second lieutenant with the 54th Engineer Battalion back in the 70s, and currently he serves as the senior military officer in the Army, overseeing most of the United States Civil Works infrastructure and military construction. Soldiers like Major General Bobby J. Wilkes, who served here in the 1st Armored Division in the 1980s, and he's currently serving as the senior advisor to the chairman of the Joint Chiefs of Staff in the Pentagon. Or family members such as Tangi Johnson, who was born in Bamberg and served as an officer in the Air Force before starting her career as a professional fitness competitor. 
These alumni of the Bamberg military community will help continue the relations between us through stories told round the dinner table and through soldiers and families return visits to their old stomping grounds to relive their youths and enjoy a hearty meal in their favorite guest house. While the inactivation of U.S. Army Garrison Bomberg is a poignant moment for us, it is a logical consequence of the agreement signed 24 years ago today, September 12, 1990, by the United States, England, France, and the Soviet Union that paved the way for the German reunification and heralded the end of the Cold War. As we prepare to return Warner Barracks to the federal government, I would like to thank all of you who have remained good stewards of this extraordinary bond we share with our German neighbors and our shared heritage. Supporting the NATO alliance is not only a duty we all share, but a mission entrusted to us by our forefathers who struggled for the very peace and security we must now safeguard. Although we are leaving Bamberg, Installation Management Command's commitment to our mission, to our German neighbors, our service members, families, and the civilians, it remains. Our nation has asked its army to conserve resources during this challenging time in both our country's histories, and we have accepted this challenge at garrisons across Europe, in Belgium, Germany, the Netherlands, and Italy. As part of this transition, service members, their families, and the civil servants of many installations have been asked to fulfill the call of selfless service, which is the very essence of duty. And it's also my duty to ensure MCOM meets its obligations to our workforce, both German and American, as we make this transition. I value each MCOM team member, regardless of nationality, as a member of our family. And while the MCOM family will be smaller in Germany, we have meticulously planned to minimize as much as we possibly could the impact on our soldiers, families, and our workforce. A great deal of that planning came directly from the terrific staff of the U.S. Army Garrison Bamberg by remaining responsive to customer and employee needs and through teamwork and inspired leadership. Inspirational leadership such as that of Renate Bolin, the USAG Bamberg Chief of Public Affairs, who demonstrated selfless service, loyalty, and dedication in the 24 months leading up to this ceremony. Renate was selected by the Ansbach Garrison Commander to serve as the senior PAO for the entire Franconia military community. And she led the way by running her office here in Bamberg and traveled to Ansbach three days a week to mentor and train the PAO team while also assisting the Schweinfurt Garrison in their efforts. During that time, the PAO teams not only sustained, but they improved and they won public affair awards. Her service is indicative of the many employees that give more than asked and do it with pride and with quality. Another example of extraordinary leadership is Akam Olenschlager, the final director of public works, who assumed the position during the final year of closure. Mr. O, as he is known, is an example of a strong and dedicated local national leader and employee. He assumed the mantle of leadership in a trying and chaotic times and not only sustained the morale and motivation of the DPW workforce, he personally led from the front and was actively involved in achieving all closure milestones and through his hard work, the garrison facility closure operations were ahead of schedule and done to a high degree of quality. His service represents all the hard-working leaders and supervisors that set the example for their people while enduring complex operations and achieving above the standard. And a great example of teamwork is Krista Roney, a model, another model, local national employee and garrison employee, her sound judgment, 
cooperation and teamwork is second to none, and she contributed greatly to successful operations at the garrison throughout her career, but especially this past year, where she worked multiple positions, balancing the difficult task of closing while maintaining the high standards for the command group. Krista's positive attitude, her never-ending smile, and her ability to work in a challenging situation was vital to the garrison's final year of operations. She represents all the employees that take pride in their work, are part of the community, and make a difference in people's lives through a positive attitude and exceptional dedication to quality of work. The strength of the MCOM family is made up of stories like these, and despite the challenges of, lose, of closing a community, the staff of U.S. Army Garrison Bamberg accomplished their mission with grace, with dignity, with compassion. They made a difference in the lives of soldiers and families who made Bamberg their home away from home. And I want right now to give a round of applause to the Garrison Bamberg employees. support of our hosts, the people of Bamberg, who have shared with us our pain and our joy through 70 years of partnership. The people of Bamberg, who are here, many of whom are here today, have stood behind, beside our soldiers and their families, providing support and comfort for the birth of our children in your hospitals, for our young families as they learn to live in a new land, and as our soldiers deploy and redeployed in harm's way in combat zones. To the Lord Mayor Bomberg and his predecessors, to the staff of the City Hall and to the County Commissioner and his staff, the firemen, the policemen, the business owners, the friends, the neighbors who live next door to our soldiers and families, thank you for your exceptional support. Thank you for being the kind of neighbor who gave without expectation of something in return, who invited us to your parties, who pulled us up when we were down and were simply there when you needed us most. Thank you. To the living and democratic spirit of this great city and to its hospitable hosts who leave us with so many fond memories, I say on behalf of Insulation Management Command Europe and the soldiers and families we represent, thank you again, in support and defense. Ladies and gentlemen, the commander, United States Army Garrison, Ansbach, Colonel Christopher M. Benson. Fry Holmeyer, Per Silverhorn, Dr. Nicholas, Fry Platz Goomer Martin, Oberberger Meister Starkin, County Commissioner Kalb, Ms. Marin, Massar Major Montez, Consul General Moeller, Burgermeisters, and fellow and former commanders, including Co Colonel Rosenberg and Lieutenant Colonel Viennes, other distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen, meine Damen und Herren. Rose Scott. Thank you for joining us here today on this historic occasion. As I've heard earlier today, the sky is crying. It's an honor to have you all here and great to see so many people. On behalf of the U.S. Army Garrison Bomber and all the people who have ever lived or worked here, I would like to sincerely thank the city of Bomber and the county of Bomber and the surrounding towns and villages for nearly 70 years of dedicated friendship and partnership with the American military. It's been a special honor for me to serve as the last official commander of U.S. Army Garrison Bomber, and I know Lieutenant Colonel Michelle Viennes, who was the last commander on the ground, feels the same way, that I was and we were very humbled a few months ago to be by the honor of signing the city's Golden Book. And we thank you very much for that. 
Before starting, I'd like to thank very many people who have made this event possible, notwithstanding all the garrison employees who spent so many dedicated years here supporting the community and our soldiers and family members. But as you might be able to tell, the 8,000 soldiers and family members are not here today. They've all departed. Only our American and German civilian workforce remains, and these dedicated professionals have worked extremely hard preparing for this day and for the turnover of this installation. Please join me in another round of applause for them. They've literally, literally spent thousands of man years of dedicated service to our soldiers, families, and to this community. I also wanted to thank Lieutenant Colonel Pulver and the USER Band for not only sounding great as always, but also for bringing so much grandeur and formality to the solemn occasion. You haven't seen them yet, but I must also thank Lieutenant Colonel Walter and the members of the Erengarde, their, their Bundeswehr, for providing an honor guard, as well as Herr Franz Gertz and Herr Lindler for providing the cannon and the cannoneer. Your support and participation adds so much to this momentous occasion and is so very much appreciated and is indicative of the many years of great relations we've enjoyed with our comrades in arms and the local community. Ladies and gentlemen, please join me in thanking them for their participation as well. <laughs> Moments ago, we cased the garrison's unit colors, signifying the inactivation of the U.S. Army Garrison Bomber. And in a few minutes, we'll conduct the final retreat and retire the American colors for the last time signifying the closure of this installation and the end of American presence here in Bomberg. And with it, the long and proud history of garrison forces in Bomberg will also come to a close. While our garrison colors will be sent to the Institute of Heraldry in the United States, when we retire the American colors, they will remain and will be presented as a gift to the city of Bomberg and its wonderful citizens. While we can never fully repay you, for your kindness and generosity, we hope this flag will always serve as a reminder of our gratitude and friendship. This ceremony honors many decades of partnership between the United States Army and the city of Bomberg and its surrounding towns and villages. Bomberg has long been home to Americans, and leaving is particularly hard because of the way you, the citizens of Bomberg, have welcomed us into your hearts and homes. Your sincere hospitality has made Bomberg, this beautiful city, a most desired duty location. And most all former inhabitants will tell you that their time in Bomberg was the best and most enjoyable time in their Army lives. It's truly, as Ms. Marin says, about the people. So this is a bittersweet moment as we say goodbye to our many friends. We've enjoyed a cl close partnership with you, the people of Bomberg, for many, many years. And since 1945, many different American units and tens of thousands of American soldiers and civilians were stationed here, living side by side with the people of Bomberg, sharing their stories, memories, and dreams of one another. Our soldiers and our civilian workforce and their family have thoroughly enjoyed your friendship and the privilege of calling Bomberg their home. Your support, compassion, and steadfast loyalty during years of repeated deployments and sacrifices made by our soldiers and families, certainly strengthen these relationships and our respect for you as friends, neighbors, partners, and allies. But we are not here to dwell on the sadness of our departure from Bomberg. Instead, we are here to celebrate the great memories we've shared with our German partners and friends. And tonight, we will make more memories at the open air concert and beer festival that the city of Bomberg is so graciously hosting. We are grateful to Lord Mayor Starkin and the city of Bomberg for hosting this event where we can reminisce, laugh, and maybe even cry a little as we bid a fond farewell to this wonderful city and the many friendships and memories that we've made over the years. As we hand over this historic installation in the coming months to the German government, it is comforting to know that this property and these grounds will provide new opportunities for the city to grow and develop. And that despite our departure, we know that the city of Bomberg will continue to prosper 
and will always maintain a strong connection with the United States. This is not an ending, but rather a beginning. And we know our bonds and friendships with you, the German people, are everlasting. So as the last commander of the United States Army Garrison Bomber, and as the last speaker, let me close by thanking all the U.S. soldiers, civilians, and family members, and the citizens of Bomberg and the many surrounding communities who forged a true German-American partnership that will remain in our hearts and minds forever. Vielen Dank, auf Wiedersehen. Until we meet again, may we have fond memories of our time here in Bomberg. Thank you very much. The term retreat is taken from the French word retraite and refers to the evening ceremony. The bugle call sounded at retreat was first used in the French army and dates back to the Crusades. Retreat was sounded at sunset to notify sentries to start challenging until sunrise and to tell the rank and file to go to their quarters. This ceremony remains as a tradition to this day. The old cavalry call to the standard was in use from about 1835 has now been replaced by the present call of to the color which remains the musical score honoring the flag as it is lowered in the evening. Ladies and gentlemen, after nearly 70 years of partnership with this great city, the time has arrived to bid her a final farewell. Please stand and render the proper courtesy as we lower now the national colors for the final time. Sound retreat! Ladies and gentlemen, we ask that you remain standing as the colors are ceremoniously folded and depart their post for the final time.
Ladies and gentlemen, this concludes the final retreat ceremony for Warner Barracks. Please remember that tonight at 7 p.m., the city of Bomberg is conducting an open-air concert at the Maximilian Platz to honor decades of solid partnership and true friendship that exists between the U.S. military garrison and the great city and people of Bomberg. Thank you again for your attendance, and have a great evening. Thank <laughs> you.